So this is where we left off in the last video. We have this simple sprite sheet animation. And this is the new sprite sheet PNG. It's an image with a size of uh, 1500 width and uh, 100 pixel height. And it has only one row and 15 columns, uh, so 15 sub -image images. So we defined here one row and 15 columns. So, and in this video, I'm going to load this running cat. So it will be a little bit more complicated because it has two rows, or I mean four rows and two columns. And uh, this uh, animation, I mean this sprite sheet's first frame is this top left. Then the second frame is this top right and continues. Uh, this is the third frame, this is the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and this is the last frame in the lower right corner. So I am already prepared this cut layer, which inherits from the cocos.layer.layer. And I'm going to load the image. Image equals Piglet that image that load and the file name is in the rest folder the running cat dot png and let's create a grid so image underscore grid and this will be equal to piglet dot image dot image grid with a capital I let's give it the image and now let's specify the number of rows so we have four rows so four and two columns so two and the item width and the item height is the width and the height of the individual sub images or sub frames and uh, it has its width is five, uh, 512 and its height is 256 every of these uh, frames. So item width is 512 and item height, uh, item height is 256. Now let's create an animation, animation with piglet that uh, image that animation from image sequence from image sequence and let's give it the image grid image grid and slice it from zero to the end and the sp speed of the animation I'm going to give it a 0 0.1 and the loop set it to true. Now let's create a sprite. So SPR uh, will be equal to cocos that sprite that sprite with a capital S and let's give it the animation or the anim. Let's set it the sprite's position. So position will be equal to let's say 640 on X and 500 on Y and let's add this sprite to the layer so self.add and SPR and now let's create a cut layer cut underscore layer equals cut layer and add this cut layer to the test scene so test scene that add cut layer 0 for the uh, Z and let's name it cut animation so the an as, as you will see the animation is won't be uh, 
want to be good because it's playing the animation in the wrong order. Why? If you think it's enough just to set the number of rows and the number of columns, then you are wrong because these animations, as I said, start with, with the upper left and goes to the right and to the down. So I'm prepared here something on GIMP. So, but what's happening? Piglet loads this animation from the lower left corner and goes to the right and up. So as you see, the first frame Piglet loaded was the lower left, then this was the second frame, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth frame. So and it should start with this frame, with the seventh frame. So that's why what I wanted to do first, reverse, create a temporary list and reverse all the frames. So here I'm going to create a temp and it will be an empty list and create a for loop for i in in reversed and the reversed function is just reverses a list so it's instead of starting for the from the first uh, or the zero index it will start to the from the end of the list and give it the image grid and to this temp list I'm going to append i. So now we reversed and now we have, I'm going to show this layer. So now that we have, we reversed this, uh, this list, now it starts from the upper right corner so this is this the, this is the first frame this is the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth but it's still not okay because we need to flip these two frames so this will be the first this will be the second the fourth the fifth the sixth the seventh the eighth and nine, uh, i mean to the eight <laughs> um, for that, I'm just going to create a second for loop. And in this for loop, I'm going to create a new texture. So new text, and it will be an empty list. Create an index variable. It will be, it will start at zero. And loop through the temp list we just uh, created. So for i in temp, for i in temp and let's append to the new text, append from temp, from temp list at index, at index one plus the index and also append to the new text in every iteration from the temp list the index not the index, but uh, but the uh, texture at the position at that position, and and, for, and at the end of every loop, I'm going to increment this index by two. So index plus equals two, and I'm also going to check if the index uh, index is greater than 6. So if the index is greater than 6, I'm going to break out the loop. So that now we have rearranged the 
uh, texture textures in the correct order here instead when we create the animation instead giving it the image grid I'm going to give it the new text new texture which now contains the these all these sub images in the correct order so first this second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth I don't know if it can be done easily or or easier or not uh, I just searched and googled but I find nothing how to make it a little bit more uh, easier so I came up with this idea doing it so and now if I play it should play the running cut animation in the correct order yes but if you know a better way and um, a little bit easier or effic more efficient way of doing uh, loading these types of animations with ha which have more uh, rows and columns please let me know in the comment section and until then thanks for watching and have a nice day